I'm Lisa, I'm a trainee instructor for the Academy of Modern Canine Behaviour and Training and today we're going to be talking a little bit about socialising your dog with objects and items such as the hoover. Um, your dogs may find cones not very um, nice or trolleys um, or even the postman not particularly great. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to work through the hoover. Now Harvey here, who's been helping me out with some of my videos, doesn't like the hoover. Now he's not too bad when it's just in isolation and not doing too much because we've been working on that, but he really doesn't like it when the hoover goes on and when it's moving. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to introduce the hoover if your dog doesn't like it, and then secondly, what to do when it's on and moving. So when he's not barking, I'm going to give him a treat. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just gently going to move the hoover. Good boy, well done. So I'm waiting for him to come to me. I'm not doing anything too forceful. Good boy, well done. So he's made the decision to come a little bit closer to the hoover. So I'm actually praising him for that, I'm not forcing him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. Good. Good boy. Now usually what happens is he still goes absolutely crazy, so this is really good progress. Good boy, well done. Okay, well done, good boy. Next step will be to actually turn it on. That's when things get really, really crazy. coming up to it, sniffing it, having, you know, sort of like really good interactions with it. He's not actually barking at it. So that's really good. Well done. Good boy. Okay. Okay, so now we've managed to get him not to bark with me just having the hoover in my hand. Now we're going to try turning it on. Okay. Ready, Harvey? Oh, he's just going to have a drink. Good boy. Well done. That's of those um, and then what you want to do is start off with your item stationary so we're talking about hoover today so wait for your dog to go up have a little bit of a sniff make sure that they're confident enough and that they do this voluntary and then feed them lots of lots of treats jackpot them quite a lot when they're doing the right positive reaction that you want from them build this up nice and slowly don't force the issue then once they're confident enough with that then you start moving the hoover, but don't have it switched on. Don't force it too quickly. Then when they've got their confidence with that, then you can have the hoover on and you can be moving it. Don't be afraid to go backwards, all right, until you've got their confidence where you want them to be. And then eventually you'll be able to hoover quite nicely in your house without your dog trying to attack your hoover every five minutes. Good luck. Thanks for watching. 
Have a great day.